Okay, hi, hello, my name is Jennifer Squires, welcome back to my channel. Here we make pancreate sew and have fun. Right, so the video I wanted to put out this week is going to be delayed until next week because I'm still having trouble finding the items that I need and I don't want to spend a lot of money because if I can't make it, I try and thrift it. If I can't thrift it, then I'll, pardon me, hit the dollar store, two dollar stores and variety shops and if I can't find it then, you know, then I really have to get crafty. So today I thought instead I'll show you how I organise my sewing patterns so that they don't become a huge mess. I used to keep my sewing patterns in one of those plastic storage tubs and every time I wanted to get one down and have a look through, I'd root around and it would get messy, it would get unorganised, things would fall out of their assigned envelopes and I wouldn't know which pieces went with which. And something I've seen happen a lot recently in other sewers and maker channels that I watch is people will use a binder. So I've got my binder and what I do is... I've got all my patterns. I take them out of the envelopes and I'll laminate the envelopes so that I can flick through kind of like a catalogue at the sewing store where you go to Joanne's. I think in New Zealand here it's called Spotlight, things like that. So I can flick through, have a look at what I want to do. I can read on the back of the envelope how much fabric is required, all of that. And then... I can check my sewing stash and before I even pull out my pad and make sure I have everything I need and if I need to buy things, I can just take this out of the folder, take it into the store with me and it's not going to rip, it's it's not going to be, you know, ruined, it's laminated, it's set like that. So, I'm going to take you through because I went through store because I knew I had another Trulu Victorian pattern and I want to put it in my binder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I organise this so that, you know, it's it's in the binder and the envelope is safe and all the pattern pieces are kept safe. So let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is... Take one of these large office envelopes and I'm going to write in this corner what this um, pattern is called. So we have Truly Victorian. And pattern T V two nine eight. I am then going to take everything out of this pattern. I'm going to separate this piece because this is a piece we're going to laminate. And I'm going to put it envelope and that's what gets put away with every other envelope. Now we are going to trim, trim this down just a bit going to take our laminating pouch, we're going to put this inside, making sure there's a little bit more room on this side than this side because this is where the punched holes are go to put it in the binder. Now I've got my laminating pouches and my laminator from Kmart, they're relatively cheap. And 
I run it through the laminator. Okay, so while it's running through the laminator, this is where I have all of my patterns. And I will just slot it in like that. And hopefully my collection will grow and then I can fill this section too. It's mostly just, um, you know, empty sketchbooks. Sometimes I will run it through twice because I do get a bit of bubbling through here, especially if the paper itself is quite thick. So I'm going to run this one through again. Bring that forward a bit so that when it comes out it's on the hard surface and not on a bendy surface. go laminated turn the laminator off now the next thing to do is to put it into the binder so I'm going to take the hole punch which I borrowed from my daughter if I can get this in the holes trapped. Let's do this. There we go, holes punched. And that is how I keep my sewing patterns organized. I hope that was helpful to anybody trying to keep their mass of patterns organized, especially when sewing patterns and some of the thrift stores are, I mean, some are as little as 20 cents, some are 50 cents. Knitting patterns seem to be quite a lot more. But um, yeah, sewing patterns, usually 20 cents, 50 cents. Some of the patterns I do purchase new, but most of them are thrifty. So that, this is how I sort store and organize my sewing patterns. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know, whatever you do is awesome and it'll help us please our algorithm overlords. And I'll see you in another video.